What's up, everybody? So, what's up? I am Gio Garcia. I am alongside Christian Mosqueda, and you are now tuned in to Against the Ropes. This is episode what eighteen, I believe, 18. right? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. And and we do have a. I guess you're still a special guest. I don't know. You're like the you're like the fourth unofficial member. You're the fourth unofficial member. Against the ropes. The first time. Founder of Chicano <laughs> Boxing. <laughs> Lily's back with us. So, Lily, how you doing? I'm doing pretty well, actually. Yeah, I actually had like a really interesting. What was yesterday? Wednesday? Wednesday, yeah. Um, you know, I don't really like networking. It's scary, but mm -hmm. I've been meeting people and I met the guy that's like the strength and conditioning coach for. Jaime Munguia and okay. Los Santa Cruz. So they told me, oh, you should come and, and see. Which it was just at the UFC gym, mm -hmm. which I thought was kind <coughs> of different. Oh, UFC? Mm -hmm. It was at the UFC gym. Yeah. And they're just there doing, like, little, you know, like, exercises and shit. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't as, like, oh, my God, cool, as seeing them do mitt work. Yeah. But it's still, like, you learn a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a, uh, I'm always interested in that type of stuff. Yeah. Like, I wasn't until after last night. I was, up. like. It's crazy because you can tell that, that the guy, his name's Andy, Andy Aguilar, I believe. Mm -hmm. You can tell he does different things for different, obviously for different, their different needs. Because yeah. for, with Leo, we know that he's like the best conditioning. He doesn't really get tired. He goes yeah. 12 rounds going crazy. Mm -hmm. And Leo's, he looks kind of old school, right? Like in, yeah. his, in his work. Yeah, he's just like mm -hmm. the Mexican fighter. Yeah. If you yeah. could make a special like a real example it, like of the old school it's, yeah. it's leo it's leo yeah but you don't really think you just give all the credit to leo but this guy has been with Leo for four years already mm -hmm. oh really yeah four mm. years i know that yeah so that's pretty cool right mm -hmm. and then with jaime this is his second camp and jaime i'm pretty sure he was not used to doing any strength and conditioning it's just it's just like that's what know? i was gonna so get ready to see, say like it's just chicken seen, chasing and like, you yeah, can I tell it's a little <laughs> awkward chasing. right he looks a little awkward, right? Yeah, because right? I, s I saw your videos on Instagram and uh, on YouTube. Check it out if you guys haven't seen them. But, yeah, I can tell the, the trainer was like, this guy needs some abs, so we're yeah, going to do some abs. Not workout. just that, but he looks, he looks a little awkward. Like, Leo, he's already there. He already knows yeah. kind of the routine, I think. And Jaime still, like, he kept constantly kept looking for, like, reassurance with the coach. Uh, like, okay, am I doing this right? Yeah. Not only that, but the guy only speaks English. So I did ask oh, him, like, okay. is there a kind of, like, language there? Barrier. He's like, no, not yeah. really. He's like, he tries to understand. That's why I was laughing when they're like, you guys are like, oh, we try to speak English to him. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so he's like, oh, with him, it's just more working on his explosiveness and making sure that the way he throws a punch is going to get, like, the best pop out of it mm -hmm. which i didn't know i didn't know that you can with strength and conditioning you could you could um actually work that i thought that yeah. was just power so he's like okay with leo we work on him not getting tired because we know that he's gonna go 12 rounds going crazy mm -hmm. yeah you know i kind of noticed that with the um, with mcgregor when he fought mayweather like he didn't so. he didn't know how to throw a power punch yeah and i'm like well that comes with like boxing training you know yes. actually learning how to throw a proper punch and, right. and that's like a crazy thing too, I think, because I, I interviewed him because I had too many questions at, like towards the end. I asked him about Mikey because, you know, now mm -hmm. Mikey's with Snack with and snacks, a lot yeah. of people are like, bro, like yeah. you never did this before. So mm -hmm. some people are kind of speculating that it's going to be bad because he never trained yeah. differently. And it's like, oh, if it's not broken, don't fix it type right. of thing. Mm -hmm. So people are like, what if it kind of because he does have to put it on weight. Yeah. But he kind of like, I don't. I can't put it in his words. Maybe, like, once I post it, I'll, like, let you guys know. Mm -hmm. But he basically said that, no, like, with, with strength and conditioning, you can see results, like, in, like, four weeks. Like, good results. Like, that's mm -hmm. not something that's going to... Because I told him, like, maybe it's too late. Like, why is he going to start doing that now? Yeah. yeah. You know, is it going to actually get better for the next fight? 
And he's like, no, yeah. He's like, it, it most definitely can. It's just trickier because he's also going up in weight. So he has to do certain things. But it tripped me out. And then with um, with the overtraining, you know how we hear it all the time yeah. in boxing? Like, yeah, yeah. when we think it's an excuse, like, okay, bitch. He's like, well, every, <laughs> like, everybody's like, oh, I overtrained for this. I overtrained. Yeah. So I asked him, like, is that is that a possible thing? He's like, yeah, most definitely. He's like, yeah. that's why with Jaime, he's like, he's almost, his fight's at the end of the month. Mm-hmm. He's like, I can have him do I some extra shit. We can have him do some extra shit, but mm-hmm. I'm not. He's like, I'm having him like kind of do like subtle thing. And he's like, he doesn't need it. He needs yeah. more work on how to position himself better and how, you know, like how to throw a better punch to where he's going to be m- even more powerful. But I don't want to overtrain him because yeah. that is that is a thing. And I'm yeah. like, I thought that was just an excuse. So you do learn a lot of things, not just like it's And you could tell like crazy. the guy like Munguia is kind of like out of his comfort zone. Yeah, I'm just watching the, yeah. the videos, you know. But that's one of the things I give Mayweather credit for, though, because he always used to do some crazy stuff. Well, that's what it looked like in the all oh, access yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was. He would. He would really take care of his body, you yeah. know. And I feel like a lot of boxers, especially the Mexican ones, don't really. Don't do that. They're kind of yeah. old school. <clears throat> they kind of just hit the bag, the mitts. Well, mm-hmm. that's what Mikey. Remember, they made fun of Mikey because he said body? no, 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 because he used to in against Easter. He said that he never did push ups. He never did sit ups. He just <laughs> hit the bag. Mm-hmm. There's something about that, Robert. Remember, we was. Remember, joked about he it was making fun of him that he didn't have abs, remember? Oh, yeah, I remember that, yeah. We used to have a joke about that, like, years ago. Like, mm-hmm. there must be, like, a torta, like... A super torta around yeah, the corner. Like a, it's <laughs> like a taco truck around the corner from that gym because everybody was pretty heavy, like yeah. Brandon Rios, yeah. no. <laughs> Maidana. Yeah. yeah, yeah, if you notice, most Mexican fighters, besides, you know, the champion that is Oscar Valdez, mm-hmm. but a lot of them, and Canelo, but they don't have abs. Yeah, they don't. They don't have abs. They're, like, they're... It looks kind of flat, yeah. But they're mm. not, they don't have abs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because that's what the, this guy said, like, the abs are m- basically mostly your diet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you can work out and you can have the abs, but if you have, like, a layer of fat, you can't see them. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So you mm-hmm. can have them worked out, but you're yeah. still, it's literally, like, 80% your diet. That's yeah. why I've always been interested in that type of stuff. Like, have you, like, I don't know if you've done it. I've watched, you know how they would post, like, Triple G's full workout, like, mm-hmm. mini workout. And they would show like an hour and a half of his workout for the day. Mm-hmm. No, I, I, I was always interested in watching those because I'm like, what do they do? Because I know they can't do a lot of weights. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. They can't. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. So I had, it was pretty. Uh, that's the only. That's the first time I've ever. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm at Legends and I see when after they spar, they do strength and conditioning on the other side of the gym. Mm-hmm. But I've never like cared to go over there and check it out, like yeah. what they're doing. But that was pretty. So yeah, that was pretty interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. There's a science to it, I think. Like, I mean, like Mikey going with Conte. I mean, there's a science <coughs> to it. I mean, this guy's like, you know, he was been, he's been on both sides, you know, of the coin yeah. when it comes to that. Well, that's so. why people are like kind of yeah. weirded ab- out about it because, you know, um, Monroe, Monroe, he just came out pot- testing positive for something yeah. and he's on snack. Hmm. So he's a snack fighter. So <laughs> people are like, uh, you yeah. know. Yeah. Remember uh, <coughs> Juan Manuel Marquez? Didn't he hook up with one of the guys who was... Uh, supplying Ere- some something at Edia or something like that? I think so. He well, he trained with them. Oh. Before, some of the, before Pacquiao the Pacquiao fights. fight. That's to me, that one was a little telling because I was like, okay, he's going with this guy that has like the thing is, once you get when once you have some dirt on you in boxing, it's even if you go legit, it's still there. Like, it's yeah. it's yeah, hard to get yourself like that. Mark is actually bulked up too. No, no, Mark is like, there's pictures, you know, I'm sure yeah. you saw like the acne on his back, yeah, and things like that. To me, like, I noticeably saw his muscles on his yeah, like neck. That. Like, you, that's just, like, the eye test, you could see it. And I was just like, man, like, I wouldn't be surprised if he knocked, like, knocks down Pacquiao like this yeah, fight because of all those, like, that, Who? those muscles. Marcus. You, oh, you thought that he yeah. Did, yeah. And so when he, I, I mean, I was shocked that he knocked Pacquiao down because you're not used to yeah, seeing Pacquiao. Yeah, because three fights before, he wasn't able to do it. Yeah, yeah and he it wasn't. was like a flash knockdown. Too. Yeah. Was like, and he's like, so whoa. And he like, actually he like knocked him down. He, like, landed on his ass, like, yeah. He knocked him down in the first one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then... Yeah, I was surprised, too, because Marquez has always been, like, a smaller fighter, like, 130, mm-hmm. 135, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then for that fight, yeah, he was yoked. Yeah. He was big. Like, we, in that round where he was hurt, I was like, mm, like, don't count him out. Like, he's hurt, but, like. Yeah, it was literally the round before that, right? Yeah. Literally the yeah. round before. That's crazy. Oh, Man. Like, shot. after that first knockdown with Pekka, I was like, Pekka, uh, like, I knew I was like, he could get attacked again. Yeah. He could get out but i was like because it, it didn't, it didn't look like it affected pacquiao yeah, like, yeah he kept like, coming forward yeah it was a flash knockdown like lily said but i was like if it landed once it can land again and when it did i was like whoa it was, but yeah that was an iconic fight i think yeah 
No one's ever going to forget that. It's yeah. going to go down in the books for sure. Yeah. But yeah, that's the thing when like when when you get caught with something, it's like it's always like a little taint. So with <clears throat> Conte, I'm sure he's I mean, all the reports say that he's clean now. He's but I mean, that that's always going to be like a little yeah, it's the reputation. Yeah, well, if and people, some people, like we talked about the last episode, people are emotional, so people never forget. That's like, gonna be that's the first excuse. You know, if the very boxer loses, oh, this guy's on something. Yeah. You know. mm-hmm. How do you guys see Mikey though? Like, I, he's big. He's getting. He looks good. Like yeah. he looks nice, and I like. I like that he actually took the steps because he's not stupid. He knows that. Yeah. Probably this is the hardest fight of his fucking life. And that's mm-hmm. why, like, I've taken a lot of shit for saying that he could win the fight. <laughs> And everyone's like, well, he's too small. And he's like, yeah, obviously he's small, but you think he's going to stay that small? Like, yeah. Yeah. obviously he's going to get bigger for the fight. So. Mm-hmm. And you prepare differently for every yeah. fighter. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure he knew that. Even though he was taking on champions to take their, you know, their, mm-hmm. their belts away, that he was a bigger guy or that he had the more experience. Yeah. I'm not saying he um, looked past his opponents, but... You can tell that he knew he was confident. Now, with this one, I know he, he sees something in Errol Spence, obviously, that he knows he can capitalize on. Mm-hmm. But I think he knew he needed something extra because for the first time, he's the underdog and he's yeah. at a disadvantage. So I like that he's taking the steps to not just be like, oh, well, I tried. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like this guy's all messed up, but I feel like that's what American did against Canelo. It's like, I, yeah. well, <laughs> he had nothing to lose mm-hmm. and he showed that he had yeah. balls. You yeah. know? He showed that he had balls because who is going to go up to fight Canelo. Like, that's crazy. For real. So he showed he had balls, but at the same time, he was like... It's like a suicide mission. But, yeah, but at the same <laughs> time, what do, you, what, what do you have to lose? Mm-hmm. So we could have said the same thing for Mikey. We could have been like, well, you know, he's going to be recognized for taking good fights, and he's going to be recognized for having the balls to go against not just any 147. Mm-hmm. He's going to go up against, you know, a champion. Yeah. So it shows that he has balls but it also shows that he's not trying to conform to just oh well i tried it's gonna he actually he's actually taking the proper measures yeah. to prepare for it and i think it's gonna show on fight night i'm pretty sure i yeah. think it's a toss-up like I, I my heart is with mikey mm-hmm. but you have to take into consideration all the things about spence and a lot of people say stuff about resumes but i think it's pretty even in between both of them yeah i i you know actually, that both of the resumes are just like I actually okay. think Mikey has a, uh, res- his resume better, is a little bit better lately. Yeah, lately, yeah. Because okay, who the the best fight by Kel Brook? I mean, by Spence is Kel, Kel Brook. Brook yeah. That was by far the best yeah. one. That was his most. I mean, and it was a fucking tie. I think before mm-hmm. the, before he knocked them out. Yeah. So that was an amazing display, I think, from Errol Spence, and then against Peterson. But I he think looked that okay. fight it was kind of like the Cotto Margarito one. All you had to do was hit his eye, and it was over. Yeah, Basically. well, cause, mm-hmm. but no, but that was his different. He, that was a zep, th- It was two different. Was two different eye eyes? sockets. Yes. Yeah. Triple G broke an eye socket, <laughs> and Earl Spence bro- bro- broke. But you the know other that one. W- you know that was in his head already. Like as Possibly, soon as he felt yeah. that punch, like Possibly. it's a wrap. But he was fighting back. Mm-hmm. That was a good ass fight. It was a good fight. Earl Spence tell. versus Kell Brook. That was a good ass fight. Yeah. And in that case, I my heart was with Earl Spence, but I kind of felt like, ah, oh, now Kell Brook is gonna take it. Oh, you thought I really, thought, really, yeah, because yeah. because of that, because of the I resumes. Never, I never liked Kell Brook. I never liked him like that. I've never either. been impressed with him. But because seeing, we had not seen Errol Spence kind of just crept up, yeah, you know, in the division, and I and I had it really. I was impressed with the kid, but I had never really seen something that's like, ooh. And yeah. I thought this was going to be his biggest test, which in my opinion it was. It was mm-hmm. But I was like, okay, I think based on like experience, I think I'm going to have mm-hmm. to go with Kel yeah. Brook, even though I want Errol Spencer. But Kel Brook, the only good fight he won was against Porter. No, I think, I don't know. In my opinion, he, he was pretty that, solid before getting fucked up by Triple G. Yeah, <clears throat> he's been pretty solid, but he, he just didn't have the big names up until, like, the Porter. But um, Man, That's with, every British fighter to me. <laughs> you already know how I feel about <laughs> British fighters. <laughs> with me, with Errol, like, like I, I I was confident that he was going to win that fight because if you go take a fight overseas or, like, a oh, way yeah. that tells you, like, oh, yeah. you know something. That you know that you're going to fucking... And I kind of knew already that Kill Brook was beaten, like, mentally already. After you fight Triple G, yeah. it's just like, come yeah. on, dude. Yeah, after you fight Triple G, I feel like that's it. That was another a fight that we were, it was like the uh, Amir Khan type, like, <sighs> was it necessary to take that fight? Yeah, like, it really wasn't. It he wasn't. really, that's, and that's the thing. You want to, like, prove something, or I don't know what your plan is, but think about your own fucking health mm-hmm. and career. Yeah. Yeah, like, like, that's not the smartest thing in my like opinion. Like, I, I love Triple G, but, like, uh, I don't know if that gave, I was, was there a lot of money? I mean, Triple G is not like a, I don't think so. I don't think so, right? That's what I'm it wasn't, talking about. And then Triple G wasn't like a, 
I guess you can say like a household name. Que digamos, no, tampoco. To take that fight. It's so like, the only pay-per-views he had too, right? He had mm-hmm. with one with, with Lemieux and then mm-hmm. Jacobs. And it wasn't like he sold that much. Yes. So, yeah, that's another thing. Like, you gotta you better pay me. Yeah. To get in the ring with a To monster. me, it was like, was that like a, just a response to Amir Khan? Like, I think so. Yeah, I, I think it was a copycat both from right? Triple G to Canelo and from Kelbrook and Khan. Yeah. I think that's just a copycat monkey see, monkey do type of shit. Yeah. But if you smart. see Mungia, like... That's irresponsible. <laughs> Mungia is very vocal about mm-hmm. him being happy that he didn't fight Triple G. Oh, damn. Yeah. Because we, we talked about that. We were like, okay, you're a prospect, but, like, to step out to Triple G, like, nah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. And and he's he's been, like I said, he's been very vocal about it. He's like, oh, thank you for, you know, the sanction boss for saying no. Hmm. He's like, because, because of I didn't take that, or they didn't let me fight him, I went this route, and yeah, I got yeah. a title. And that fight with Triple G could have hurt my career. Yeah. You know, I mean, so we, that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, I don't think that's I Like, I was impressed idea. with uh, his... His fights with like Ali and I mean obviously he was bigger but I was still impressed with like some of the work that he showed but okay that's uh, cool that he's on who did he fight Ali Liam Smith yeah Liam Smith Mm -hmm. that fight he fought five times last year that's I didn't know that I think I only watched two or three prior prior to that he had only fought in the U S like once or twice todas las pelas eran en México so that's crazy to see his growth from one year like he just fucking took off and because. Everybody started talking to him about him when the whole Triple G thing because mm-hmm. he was he was gonna be the substitute sacrificial lamb yeah. for Triple G and then Golden Boy's like oh well don't worry we'll you know we'll put you in our, in a card and we'll give you a title shot yeah and no one's gonna say no to that right and bro like <laughs> he nearly decapitated <laughs> Ali I yeah. love I love seeing his face. If you see Mungia's face when he's on the attack, it's some scary shit. Dude. <laughs> he's like like zoned in, huh? Like yeah, super he's, focused. He's huge. Yeah, he's fucking huge. And I asked, I asked the trainer to, I'm like, hey, I'm like, he's gonna have to go up like pretty soon. I'm like, he's 20, but how are you gonna change? Are you gonna change like a training different? He's like, yeah, he's like, he needs mm-hmm. to go up. Yeah. He like told me the weight that he walks around, and I'm like, yeah, I kind of figured because he's yeah. huge. Yeah. Well, we'll see if Mikey can pull it off. Something <laughs> I'll give Gio credit is um, he calls things before they, they come they to happen. fruition in a way, like with the Tyson Fury. <laughs> yeah. Like, we, we kind of made, we kind of were like, nah, we don't think so, because we saw Fury before he lost all that weight, but the Gio's all like, he called it before that weight came off, and then once that weight came off, me and Chris were like, you know what, he does, you know, have, you know, better chance now, because he's like, he mm-hmm. lost all this weight. And now with Mikey, obviously Gio called it, or he's calling it before, <laughs> The whole going to the snacks, so we were like, okay, it seems like Bro, he could have a chance now. Beats, hey, I have a 50 50 chance of being <laughs> right. If so. he beats Errol Spence, <laughs> people are gonna go nuts. Like, yeah, it's gonna be fucking huge if he beats yeah. Errol Spence. Not only that, but you know, there's always gonna be people that are hating and shit. Like, they're yeah. gonna be like, uh, he's on something. Like, <laughs> especially, you know, Errol Spence fans, like hardcore yeah. fans, mm-hmm. they're gonna be just. Yeah, but you know, um, I was Clarissa telling these Shields, guys. So she doesn't like Mexican fire. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> she's going to be talking shit. But it's going to be huge. Yeah. It's going to be huge. To but, me. Uh, yeah, yeah, go, you go, you go. What was I going to say? Um, oh, but I like I was telling these guys, like, this is not even going to be the biggest fight for Mikey. I think after this, he's going to get even bigger fights. Because there's still that Lomachenko name out oh, yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Um, who else can he fight? That's pretty big. We talked about him possibly oh. fighting Pacquiao. Pacquiao, yeah. That's big, you know, too. So I think this is kind of, I don't want to say a stepping stone. Wait, Lomachenko obviously fighting Pacquiao? No, Mikey. Oh, Mikey. I'm saying, like, he's going to get bigger fights after this. He, well, even after, with the loss. After that Errol it. Spence, I mean, uh, after that Easter Junior fight, like, his dad was literally urging him, call Manny Pacquiao, call Manny Pacquiao. Call <coughs> Manny. Yeah, this is the time. Like, I have I have a video on it on my channel where, where even Robert is like, we don't want him to take Errol Spence. My dad is telling him, literally call yeah. Manny Pacquiao. That's a smarter Especially move. because I'm pretty sure they knew that he was going to like sign to PVC. Yeah. You know, so it's crazy. So I think I asked Mikey also that question uh-huh. when I went to see him. And he had said that it doesn't interest him anymore or something. It Manny? doesn't. Yeah, because it's not a challenge. Oh, supposedly, okay. Because he's could. older already. But since I was like, bro, money. Hello. Yeah. I mean, I can respect that, but I... Yeah, because he's like, oh, he's, that he, his, his exact words were, it doesn't excite me. Hmm. It's like, how, and I got to disagree because it's like, I would love to fight a, you know, a someone, division. a legend. Yeah. I would love to do that. Yeah. yeah. You know, so, but, you know, to each 
their own. But maybe maybe he wants to see Manny look really good. Or maybe he just wants to, you yeah. know, do whatever he wants to do first. And then yeah. maybe he's like, oh, I'll fight Manny. Yeah. Because I see Manny looking sharp. So you see yeah. his fucking. I was going to say that. We're going to dive into that combo. <laughs> right. Manny Pacquiao he's against Adrian good. Broner. January 19th. Right. 18th. 19th. 19th. Yeah. 19th. Las Vegas pay-per-view. Are you going to buy it? No, I'll go to the you, movies. You, <laughs> <laughs> you posted the the price, right? Is that the official yeah, price? Yeah, but Wait, it's is funny it because the guy's like, oh, that's... $74.99? Is it? Yeah, seventy four ninety nine. Oh, and the guy's like, that's false. Who's going to buy it? And then it literally comes out and it's... Seven, so I'm just like, <laughs> yes, it, like, that's crazy. That's if lot. the this undercards was a Spinoza, were great, right? yeah, Showtime, yeah, from Showtime. So it's like, he's saying that's his false information or something like that. But then it comes out mm-hmm. and it's literally that surprise. And I've never gone to the movies to watch a, a fight, but I think I'm going to do it this time because I'm pretty yeah. sure it's not going to be, like, quiet. We're all going to be <coughs> rowdy as fuck. Yeah, we recommend it. <coughs> I was surprised last time we went to watch uh, Deontay Wilder against Tyson Fury. Oh, you guys watched that We're the loudest ones in there. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Everybody else is chilling, sitting down. Mm-hmm. I want to throw popcorn in the air. <laughs> yeah. No, so I want to do that. I'm most yeah. definitely I'm going to do that. You know, we even have people after us after the fight come up to us. Huh? Yeah, they started talking. Because everyone in there seemed kind of like casuals Timid. for some reason. Take yeah. your shirt. Take your shirts and be oh, like, yeah, yeah so... Yeah, like people came up to us and they're like, "Hey, who'd you guys have before?" and like all this stuff. Who who do you guys have after the fight? You know what? It would be a cool to like do it. like a little vlog if you. Yeah, you that's guys what I was gonna too. say. We'll do like a video like experience. See the people mm-hmm. that are gonna be yeah, going in, get some predictions, actually, and then after get the, the people and see yeah. their. I had a video. That, we didn't talk to too many people, but it got taken down because <laughs> yeah. there's some highlights in there. Oh, so, yeah, so yeah. So yeah. So learning the rules. Down from YouTube. It's so stupid. <laughs> I hate that shit. Yeah, but um, <laughs> did you guys see the All Access episode in Showtime? Yeah. If you guys haven't watched it, it is on YouTube, so you can watch it for free. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on that? So the headline was uh, what now? King versus Joker? And I know. <laughs> I'm like, that's out of pocket. I was like, damn, Showtime. Like that <laughs> makes sense to me in a lot of uh, it makes sense. a lot of ways. Yeah, a lot of ways. Yeah. It just seems like they're like <laughs> throwing shade. Yeah, but you know that well, the Joker kind of kind of is like a. It's like a wild card, right? Yeah. You never know That's what the wo- uh, Joker can be yeah. worth. And then with the king, well, the strongest card is the ace, right? Yeah. To me, it's kind of like saying, like, you know, Pacquiao, he's, he is getting older. He's mm-hmm. not, like, the strongest guy still. But he's, up, yeah. but he's still, like, right under, you know, that strongest fighter. So yeah. it's going to be interesting, dude. Yeah. Uh, definitely, like, the, obviously, you know who is a good guy and who is a bad guy and how they're Yeah, it's like good versus evil. Yeah. yeah. It really is. That's it why really remember is. when we were talking about the the stoppage and all this stuff, and we we're like, no, no way. But I kind of hope he gets it. Just I just want to see like, it. Yeah, yeah. Just, just because, because. like, he deserves it. You know just what? For his whole I career. Kinda, I want to see like him punish him for like just make him look stupid. You know. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> I just want to. I don't know. Who knows? And that's the thing about this fight that a lot of people are talking shit on, but it's so it's intriguing. A good fight. Yeah, it's, it's so it's intriguing a good fight. because. Not just because, oh, anything can happen in boxing, but because it's, like, so many factors that can take into effect because, yes, Pacquiao's older, so yeah. that can be his downfall. He also has mm-hmm. a, a shorter reach, and he's shorter. Yeah. So that's the only thing that I, I felt was such a disadvantage against, um, what's his name, Jeff Horn, even yeah. though I don't think Jeff Horn beat him, but mm-hmm. you could tell that his reach was yeah. non-existent. Like, mm-hmm. Manny Pacquiao's reach was, like, and it's always, have, always has been. Like, yeah. now, with Broner... It's still that possibility that the possibility that he's gonna come back as the guy he was before Maidana, mm-hmm. because w- with Jesse Vargas we saw the second t- yeah. half of the fight. But then again, it's Jesse, Jesse yeah. Vargas. Yeah. You know, Mikey completely <clears throat> fucking schooled him. He wouldn't even let his hands no, go. That was probably the worst bet <laughs> that I've been part of. <laughs> Jesse Vargas <laughs> against Broner. I, other Chris had a hundred dollars on Jesse Vargas. That was a draw, right? It was, yeah, a, it was draw. a draw. Yeah, with so that, they, they broke even. I I actually had money on Broner. Just because I don't like Jesse Vargas. And I'm like, skill-wise, Broner should blow him out the water, right? You know mm-hmm. what? But you saw the I'm first gonna, half of the fight. It yeah, was all... Yeah, all he was just Jesse. out-hustling him. Yeah. It was, just that's all it was. Time. And I don't know why he just... Broner doesn't let his hands go. Yeah. And it's like, why? Ever since he's fought Maidana, mm-hmm. he has ever like... Since then, he gets like since fucking then, flashbacks, flashbacks and shit. He sees Maidana's face on... Yeah. <laughs> No, that's true. It was this in staff fight. He doesn't. He just doesn't let him go. Like, there is one reason I don't like Jesse Vargas, and it has nothing to do with like him in the ring. We mm-hmm. went to the stuff hub for um, I forgot what fight it was. There was like a bunch of fighters there, you know, like okay. at the stuff hub. It was a PBC card. I think mm-hmm. it was when Leo and and Mares fought, but like 
different people and then they okay. were gonna uh, in October I think oh, okay yeah, yeah. and then he showed up like there was fighters literally walking around there mm -hmm. taking pictures with fans doing you know just autographs doing interviews just walking around the top and the bottom he yeah. showed up with bodyguards what the hell <laughs> bro he showed up with fucking <laughs> bodyguards and that shit had me like when, when was this to the stub hub like <laughs> I said at, to the stub hub um, was this recently or it was in October of 2017 I believe so did he have a big fight that he thought oh I need bodyguards now or something <laughs> dude we saw him at the contender finale and he, and he didn't have I any. talked about it in one episode He's like, we just, I walked by him. Like, I didn't even know he was there. Like, there were some guys with cameras trying to, like, ask him questions, like an interview. And he looked happy that people were asking him shit. Yeah. And then they were literally right next to me. I was looking for you guys. And then they were, like, behind me. Mm -hmm. And they kept getting closer. So I was getting mad. I'm just like, and then I was like, <laughs> fucking Jesse Vargas, dude. <laughs> I just left. I was like, nah. Oh, man. <laughs> nah, yeah. So that's the only reason. Ever since then, I'm like, you payaso. You know what I mean? I'm like, dude. There's I never like liked him. Something about guys him, here that are, like stars or like you know bigger stars than you and they're just walking yeah. around yeah like what do you need bodyguards here for yeah it's like that shit had me yeah. fucked up no offense oops i keep hearing <laughs> <laughs> so talking about that uh, all access oh okay so yeah so yeah th that that is interesting you know they do That's i think they do a great job of showing the boxer stories but yeah. just in general it's like a good story yeah right because they show the good and the bad they show pacquiao Donating giving money, people money. To like to literally has all their stacks, smiles. bruh. And then he has like he has <laughs> stacks, and then I like the people outside, like, oh, I came to see my yeah my idol Manny Pacquiao, and they're yeah. like super yeah. happy <laughs> with like little posters and shit. I'm like, <laughs> and then they cut to, <laughs> they cut to Adrian Broner, and then he's uh, trying to buy some jewelry and oh, some sunglasses <laughs> and <laughs> that he owes right now ten thousand dollar. <laughs> Ten thousand dollar sunglasses and Jeez. buying cars, and you're just like he's Damn, like in a lawsuit opposite, right now, right? Huh? Like, oh my goodness, yeah. He's supposed to go to court, like yeah, for two separate Monday, cases on the same on day. Monday, yeah. I saw, I saw an interview. Imagine the fight gets canceled. About it. I'll be fucking oh, pissed. Oh no. Yeah, I saw him in an interview talking about it. Um, mm -hmm. He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna be Manny Pacquiao. Then I'm gonna go to my court cases. <laughs> I'm gonna beat them too. And then yeah, it's gonna be all good after that. Man. Now my favorite part is when like Pacquiao's like showing him his belt, he's like, and then he takes <laughs> his belt, his little Gucci belt, or whatever, yeah. and then he's like starts. I think the course, the court cases are favorites right now. They're like minus two hundred. For bro, what happened? The court cases are favorites. <laughs> <laughs> favorites. Put some money on AB. <laughs> yeah. Um. No. Um. Other than that, what are some other takeaways from that episode? It was pretty good. To me, just that man, like it just kind of like. Reestablished why I love Manny, man. Like, and it reestablished that Adrian Broner's Adrian Broner, and he's right. Mm -hmm. What even win or lose, God, he's God, still God, gonna God, be. God, God. Somebody lose, cheer for him after. Like, like, <laughs> he's gonna be marketable regardless. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. And that's... then he can still keep saying, "Oh, I'm gonna beat his ass," and he—that's what he says in every fucking like pre fight conference yeah. like i'm gonna beat his ass i'm gonna whoop his ass but that's one of and the then reasons he loses and he's like whatever you guys are still gonna buy my <laughs> shit and it's true that's it's true that's one of the reasons yeah. i don't want him to get stopped because i still want him to keep fighting because he's entertaining to me yeah, yeah. He is. now he is. he is now he, before i when he was undefeated i used to hate him like just somebody give this for his l already i never but now i'm like this him. guy's he's actually he's entertaining yeah. like I never ever team. hated him, but it did get on my nerves that like he when he was disrespecting my Donna, that shit pissed me off because like my Donna's just like this dude that don't calm, he's man. like look at him, he looks dumb, he don't he he <laughs> act like he don't even understand what I'm saying. <laughs> and then remember He did what, not know what he was getting into. He did not know. I don't did, think anybody well a lot of people. I don't people think did I'm pretty know. sure you like completely underestimated him because remember yeah. in the in the pre show for that fight, he's like, If I beat him if I could fight him tomorrow, I'll beat his ass tomorrow. Yeah. And like he was so confident. And yeah. then I don't know what who he fought, but remember when he took his girl in the ring? And Polly then, Malignaggi? No, 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 no. No? It wasn't that. It was another one? In, a, in a post fight. He took his, his girl up, and then like I he got that. in one knee, and she started oh, freaking out. Oh, my God. I remember. And he's like, will you comb my hair for me? <laughs> Brush my oh hair. Oh, my I God. remember that. Bruh, I would that fucking see, like, <laughs> while he's down, fucking knee him. Like, you don't do that. <laughs> like, he, like, he yeah. really, that's... He humiliated her in front of everybody on fucking national, international fucking television. Man, I mean, she's dating ABM. She kind of deserves it. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> she, she knew what the fuck she had coming yeah. to her. 
But nope. that's crazy. <laughs> no, but oh, God, and no one's ever stopped AB, so this is going to be like. That's this, true. No he's one's tough. Like, I mean. My Donna dropped him, what, twice? But they better uh, make him shave that twice, big old yeah. beard, dude. He didn't yeah. shave it for, for Jesse Vargas. Did he <clears> not? <throat> he shaved it off. I don't think it was that big, though. Like, remember was, with like, Canelo, Ross. too? They were like, oh, he better shave that shit. I'm like, Bruh. There's a difference between little hairs and a full on <laughs> puffy. Yeah, he has like yeah. a. Peterson, too. No, he had, Peterson like, a long-ass beard, too. Yeah. And, you know, there's yeah. difference in hair types. Like, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'll say what, like, what people want to say about he is tough. He is tough. Yeah, you're right. He got knocked down twice. One through the ropes. <laughs> Six, one, nine, one. And then when he got <laughs> left. Six was, that's the like, one where, like, I saw a meme, too, where he's, like, <laughs> and then his dad's, like, brushing his hair, supposedly. Yeah, I posted like, him, bro. and right away, everyone had, like, an immediate reaction. No, everyone was Jack, laughing at that. No, and, and the last time, I, when I had my original um, Instagram account, I had posted, like, a recap of that fight. Like, just, and there was still people defending him. And I'm, like. <sighs> Like, but defending him and his fight, I'm like, bro, he tro- got dropped twice. He got wobbled. He, like, my dad had him doing the stanky leg. He yeah. got dry humped back. I'm like, bro, like, what <laughs> that is there fight to defend? Was entertaining. Yeah. Remember that we watched it at your place? Yeah. Dude, was it was one of the it wasn't most entertaining for, fights. For which fight? It wasn't the undercard for what? Was it? I, I think it was main. No. Yeah, I right? Was, I thought it was main. No, I think no? it was in the undercard for something. Because I remember we were watching. We... No. Paid for that, and I don't think we paid for it for Brown or Maidana. It had to be main event. You know what? I'm gonna Google I'll it. Look it yeah, up, Google yeah. it. Maybe there is another undercard on it. On it maybe. I don't want to say. Yeah, the thing it might have been. I don't. I fight? think it was a can a Canelo fight, but I don't know. Let me check. Can no, I believe that fight was on what HBO. Yeah. Showtime. Showtime. Showtime, but it was on regular. I think Showtime, it was regular right? Showtime. Yeah. Really? I don't I think remember. So. Yeah, Google right that. Now. That's interesting. Yeah. Huh, buddy. But uh, I remember yeah. a lot of people just thought AB was gonna win just based on like as oh, the Chino. It won um, Ring Magazine's ups- upset of the year. Yeah. Just based Wait. on. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> people thought that fight. Yeah. yeah. In 2013. No, it's upset. Because people had Chino counted out because he yeah, had just lost convincingly to Devon Alexander, who's also like a boxer, you know? And so people so thought what, AB was going to do What was the, the date? Do you know? What was the what? The date of that fight. Let me check. Uh, it was December 14, 2013. All right. So go to Box Rack. Shout out to Box Rack. Well, you're right. That was the mm. main event. Who else was on that card, though? I think Loma Keith Thurman versus been. Soto Caras, Los uh, Santa Cruz. On that card? Yes. Damn, oh, that's interesting. That card. Yeah, I remember Santa it was Cruz. a good event because and yeah. Santa Cruz we got was together like together and the opening bout, which is crazy. <clears throat> yeah, damn. It was a Robert Easter there. Jr. fought. Oh, wow. Jam- Jamal Herring. Good old days. <laughs> yeah, good old days. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a mini event. That's that crazy. Is. I don't know. I see a lot of fights with my families. So I feel like I mix them up. So right. yeah, you can oh, edit yeah, that yeah. part out. So I'm <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> <laughs> We're all looking at each other like, <laughs> no. <Nah. Sid> <laughs> she's like, I remember. We I got, <laughs> she's like, I remember. I got my money's worth. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they charge no, you. Because, because my my families are like more casuals, oh, okay. and then they only support like Mexican boxers to buy shit. We'll but talk, now yeah. that that makes sense, they'll we'll be able to like free. That. Yeah, but yeah. but I think that's why because mm-hmm. I remember okay. the fights that we bought were like the Marcus and the Pacquiao's, the Canelo versus Tra. Or not that one was an undercard, but like mm-hmm. we kind of supported. If we knew like a Mexican was fighting. Yeah. Then my family was like, "Here's my fucking money." <laughs> So that makes sense. So it, yeah, that the thing about um about casuals and boxing, it's like they always have, have they they feel comfortable rooting for the guy that's like in your race yeah. and stuff. And to, I don't like that. To me, it's like I don't like that shit. And all of a sudden, if you don't support somebody in like your age, oh, like it's because like you have to support La Raza, and I'm just like, yeah. bro, like yeah. I have nothing against them. It's just like with Victor Ortiz and Maidana. I wanted Maidana to win. Like I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah, if he's, like, yeah. And he's low technically key? from here, but I don't give a fuck. Loki, like, I was rooting for Pacquiao against the Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> no, same here, not same again. Here. No, not with yeah. Eric Terrell Morales. <laughs> yeah. Fuck all that. Of them. With I don't Eric, care. All I was of like, them. No. The Mexican. No, I, didn't, I didn't want him <laughs> to. I was like so. Like conflicting. I like Morales though. He's yeah. probably that was, my that's, favorite that's, Mexican. Yeah. yeah, he's the most humble. Yeah. But so against Barrero, like I guess, fuck Barrero. <laughs> Marquez, eh, fuck Marquez too. Yeah. <laughs> man, man, fuck you. <laughs> We're gonna fight. No, I don't. No, I yeah. like him a lot. Like I like um, 
I, li- I like Mexican fighters, but it was yeah. always, I remember it was always really conflicting mm-hmm. with him because I told you guys, I think I mentioned this before when Pacquiao got knocked the fuck out. We didn't cheer. We were just like quiet. Yeah. The whole fucking room was quiet because we liked Pacquiao. I yeah. hated that because I knew all the cash was in. was like, yeah, see, Pacquiao was cheating this whole time. No, well, Marcus yeah. got robbed in all three fights. See, he knocked them out. Yeah. Like, I oh think what, what's like my biggest pet peeve about casuals is that they only support the the big name the boxers, big name boxers obviously yep. and it's like if you guys like just toe to toe shit go to local fights because that's where you're going to get it for real you're going to get these guys that are trying to prove themselves these guys that are trying to make fans go out and leave their yeah. fucking heart in the ring i'm not saying obviously go the champions fights. don't but yeah, yeah. the all star <laughs> fight the belasco fight yeah. and you know that's why like leo santa cruz cuz he always says like oh i'm just trying to give the fans the best show yeah. And yeah. I don't really like this, but he also apologizes after. Like, oh, I'm sorry I didn't get the knockout, you know. Yeah, but like, well, why? I'm like, don't apologize, apologize, but I, I get where you're coming from. Like, well, remember yeah. when Pacquiao apologized to the whole country, too, when he lost? He's, like, crying and, like, apologizing. Yeah. I'm like, bro, relax. Like, it's it just, happens, yeah, you know, it's just not. It's part of the, the boxing game. And it's just we shouldn't glorify undefeated fighters. Yeah. yeah. Even if they're, like, the best, just we shouldn't glorify that because – that's the reason these guys are like taking risks that they shouldn't yeah. just to like have fans. So I just wish that they were more like it's going to sound really like snobby and shit. But the accounts that deserve the followers are like you guys who literally do little boxing fights mm-hmm. is people that are actually putting content out with for giving giving recognition to everyone yeah. not just those accounts that are the biggest ones who just copy paste <laughs> shit who just post <laughs> well, highlights of whatever yeah. and like it's like okay that's cool too but that's just casual shit in my yeah. opinion i hate to sound like snobby but that's what and it that's is if you like real boxing then follow shit like this small yeah. cards that are literally free on facebook the thompson yeah. cards these are these are fighters like young fighters are coming up there and that's so probably passionate. where you're gonna see the best fights not yeah. necessarily yes. the best boxing but, but the, the best, best fights, fights, fights the best, dude. Fights. best fights same way when people just show up to the main events like mm. they don't even show up to the undercard yeah. oh, if you paid all this money that for one so much. fight bro and you yeah. don't even know you might be like you might have missed like one of the best up and coming boxers. Like yeah. in, in yeah. five years, like you could have missed Lomachenko on an undercard just because you didn't show up. To when it. my friend mm-hmm. uh, at, at the PM. May Pack, Lomachenko fought on that. He said it was empty. Yeah. He's like, I was there like supporting Lomachenko and it was empty. Well, just for the Canal Triple G in September, mm-hmm. it was <laughs> dead up <laughs> until the the main event. Yeah. Like they when had like chocolatito, fa- but yeah. it was dead. It was dead yeah. That shit, I'm just like, how? Yeah. How do people spend this five thousand dollars to be down there and only go and see Canal? That's crazy. I'm there since like two they just, p.m. They just they're just there for the selfie and then yeah, <laughs> like I'm right here at ringside. Hey, <laughs> I'm so pissed if Chris is gonna be like, I'm gonna pick you up at three and he shows like at three fifteen. I'm like, oh yeah, come on, mad. dude. Come on, we, we probably missed like dude, the eleventh <laughs> fight of. <laughs> that's my fucking biggest pet yeah, peeve. Like I have, I have oh, people my being friend. late. See, I told you. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And even though I was late I'm today, right? No, but my friend, he's from against um against the Hey, hey, come on, we're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna My edit that from, part out. From, um, <laughs> what's it called? The one with Michelle Joy Phelps? Uh, I don't know, but he's, I forgot the name of it. I only know against the ropes. Hey, shout <laughs> out. Against so, DA ropes on Instagram. <laughs> Chicana Boxing on Instagram. Plugs. Yeah. No, so, <laughs> Chicana so Boxing. He, com. He's always like, oh yeah, well, I'll meet you there. And I just hate, I, I don't talk to people in the media or like I'm too awkward. So mm-hmm. I like him because. He gets on that. He gets, no, because <clears> I'm like, oh, I talked to him already. So I want to get there with him. He gets there, so I'm not oh, just okay, there gotcha. awkward. Yeah. But he's always late. <laughs> or he's like, always oh, like, oh, I'll see you there. Like, uh, I'm like, oh, it opens at 4. I'm like, okay, he'll get there like at 5.30. I'm like, bro, I want to see the first fight. Yeah. Or there's like guys that from the gyms that I've been to that I know are fighting. So I don't want to miss it. Mm-hmm. And I've like missed some of it because he's just fucking late. And I'm like, bro, I want to be there for the first fight. Oh, yeah. We're like, g- I want to see it. Yeah, this this Saturday, we're getting there like hella early. You're gonna see, oh, we're yeah. going to see all the fights. There's uh, like Joey yeah, Spencer. He's a good fighter. He's like yeah. the first one. Knockout artist, like, well, not, not everybody right now, but Reagan Dow's in it too, right? Yeah, we're gonna see um, all that's those. That's the one that I'm like the most excited yeah. about. Yeah, I think that's the one that sold me on that show. Yeah, because I mean, the tickets are pretty cheap. Yep, if you guys missed out, I'm sorry, but it is at the Microsoft Theater. I am so excited LA, to see Reagan. Downtown LA. <laughs> I'm yeah. so excited. Uh, main see. event, Kayla Plant against uh, Uskategi, mm-hmm. right? It's gonna be um, good in there. They fight at 168. Who's yeah. the champion? Uskategi, right? Uskategi, yeah. yeah, he's from Venezuela, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but. That See, our routine for fights is like, 
We meet up early. We meet up early. We meet up early. We, drink, we get drinks. We get drink early. Yeah, like, even, we sober well, up well, for the we, main that's, And that's what I do. <laughs> like, at the at the forum fights, we do tailgate, but we get there. The guy gets there at 2. So we're there at 2, and I'll tailgate for, tailgate for an hour and a half. And I'm like, all right, see you guys. And everybody's like, oh, you're already going in? I'm like, yeah, I'm already yeah. going yeah, in. Like, I'm the, in. Come on, but, man. I, but for the Triple G, I think um, Vanna's fight, mm -hmm. we also did a... A thing like a, so I got super <clears throat> fucked up before oh, really? going in, <laughs> dude. And then like I was, I got so fucked up that the ring girls, like you know how they had like outside little like games and shit. <laughs> so I, I like in, uh, Eric Morales was there. Her? So I was no, that, that, that's normal. That's normal behavior, you know. But so I like went up and I was like dancing with him oh, that's funny. to win like with Morales. Yeah, to win like that's gloves funny. signed by him. So he gave me a glove signed oh, by him just because like we danced with him. And then like I also won a triple G hat and a triple G like little scarf and I had like my little bag. Once inside, I lost that shit. That's how oh, drunk I was. Funny. I have the glove because the glove yeah. I put in the backpack, mm -hmm. but like the little bag with the scarf and the hat. At the end of the night, I'm like, what, what the fuck? Where's my hat? Like, I was, I sobered up by the end of the night. Yeah. But I'm like, fuck, I lost my hat and I lost. Yeah. So I'm like, don't, I'm never. Let me tell you again. about our mission that fight. Do you remember? <laughs> you remember? Uh, I remember. We're so. in Vegas. We're in Vegas that morning. For so what? We, for Canal Triple G? No, we just, for Canal Triple G against Vanes, Martiros. Oh, okay. Oh, That's one, is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, right? May 5th. Yeah. 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 We were in Vegas that. Because oh, yeah. there's, you know how the fight was supposed to happen between Canelo and Triple uh -huh. G? Mm -hmm. So we booked it like way ahead of time. Yeah, we're yeah. out there with a bunch of friends. We got there like Thursday, oh, Friday, and then yeah, we, we took off like. To, to go there anyway, yeah. yeah. We came back like Saturday morning, like at 8 a.m. I woke, this was all hungover. I'm like, dude, let's go. We got to make it to the fight. I was like, uh. We drove over here. We got here like by noon. We mm -hmm. took a nap because we didn't even sleep. <laughs> we're all hungover. Like, <laughs> took a nap for a little bit and then we headed to the fights we didn't really catch like most of the fights i think huh yeah because we got we there pretty late but yeah. we're, we're hung over you know yeah and that's the fact that excuse. we left the that's fact that we left vegas to come see the fight yeah, that yeah that's <laughs> a mission, that's but it was cool it was cold that night too i remember yeah, yeah it was cold i remember we took some shots before going in we huh? did we felt warm like the first hour like, and after we're like <laughs> I was drunk, so I don't remember that much. If it was cold or not, honestly, never mind. And it was nice because it was like a lot of. It seemed like a lot of the people. There, everybody loved boxing. It wasn't really yeah. a lot of like obviously Casual. casuals. It was, you know, so yeah, it, was, it was cool. The, the stuff cool. up is a place where you know, yeah. you know if there's like real fans or if mm -hmm. it's not because it's small, but it's also usually <laughs> fights that you know the real fan will yeah. will, will, will attend. Because I can hear people having mm. like little debates like- Yeah, with yeah, yeah. I, that's, yeah. My, that's my favorite <laughs> thing. That's my, I love yeah. being somewhere and hearing people talk boxing. I, yeah. I look, you wanna like just sit next to them. You're like- Yeah, like, <laughs> I love it because yeah. I feel like it's it's such a natural thing to yeah. talk about. But like, I'm pretty sure you guys do it all the time, <clears throat> not just in here, you guys are talking yeah. boxing. And I think I went to like an Italian restaurant one time, I forgot what it's called. But I was sitting down with my friend. He was boring as fuck. And I kept like, <laughs> the next table over was like talking about boxing, the boxing. And I yeah. kind of want to be like, you know, I'm going to go talk to them real quick. Yeah. And it was just, I just like that. But I fight yeah. too. I love hearing yeah. like, or oh, predictions or oh, who's going to be next. I love that shit. I so think I told, like, my beer. I think I I told know, a yeah. story <laughs> before, but I'd be having boxing conversations everywhere. Yeah. I remember when I went to Europe, I was in Barcelona. We're at a nightclub. Let's just call, let's just call it that nightclub, right? We lost Day these. Club, <laughs> <laughs> editing, brothel. We're gonna edit that out. At a brothel. <laughs> we're gonna edit this part out. But I remember we lost you, my brother. Yeah. So it was me and another unnamed uh, individual. <laughs> Which should not be named. Anonymous. For Anonymous. <laughs> but I lost him too. He <laughs> went somewhere. <laughs> and then there were some British fans over here, and there were uh, everybody in there was pretty drunk. And then there were some British people, and then for some reason we started talking about boxing because mm. we were speaking in English. So they're like, oh, cool, cool. Like, you like football? Yeah, I like Liverpool, blah, blah. And then we started talking about boxing, and then mm. we're just going at it. Like, oh, yeah. I was talking shit about all Wait, the British in the fighters. UK? No, this yeah. was in Barcelona. Oh, Barcelona, Barcelona was running into mm -hmm. some British people. And then, I don't know, I was just talking shit about all their fighters. Like, fuck Ricky Haddon, fuck Amir Khan. <laughs> oh my God. I was my surprised they didn't beat my ass because it was like yeah, seven of them. Yeah, they tried to jump their ass. Because yeah, they're, they're, like, they're, but they're so were, devoted. They yeah, are. but they were like, oh, but you know what? We like Mexican fighters, though. They have yeah. a lot of heart you and balls and all this like, shit. So yeah. they're like, they're giving us props. <clears> and I was like, yeah, I'm from Mexico. I'm not American. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's weird because my best friend, he, he, I mean, he doesn't hate British boxing, but he says they're so gassed up. He's oh, like, yeah, see, he's yeah. like, look, he's like, it's I love, fan base. he's like, look at Warrington. He's like, he's cool. He looks great. He looked great. I think he looked great he looked against great, yeah. um, Frampton. 
But he's like, oh, let's put him against like the featherweights over here and see how that goes because it's crazy. You see I these guys the and they're so like all that's gonna sound messed up, but most of the British champions are hyped up. Are like pretty hyped. So that's why mm -hmm. when people are like, oh, Kaelin Smith against Canelo, we're like, fuck, like Kaelin Smith look good as fuck against Groves, like in the mm -hmm. Super Series, but. It's He's gross. British, yeah. so it's like I feel like that's just the British <laughs> that's British like, uh, media though, because yeah. in soccer they do the same thing. Yeah, like but if, they hype them up like crazy. Yeah. So that's yeah, that's the that's a good fan base right there. <laughs> yeah, shout out to all the British people. Yeah, man. shout out to we the like British fans. Yeah. We were actually planning a Look trip this Fury. year. Yeah. yeah, we gotta go out there. Dude, so maybe Fury? April is a possible date with they, Joshua fighting. They um, they just said fuck the media row and they invaded the media row. Like, 50 of the Fury fans, they, like, just said, fuck it, and they went into the media section. Oh, damn. And what are you going to tell them? Like they're 50 cool, people? dude. You know, that's, yeah, that's, that's devoted. They're that's like, people. you are passionate yeah. as fuck. <clears throat> and that's what the sport needs, even if they're, like, debating and shit. That's yeah. what the sport needs. There's, like, people that are actually devoted to, to, to the fighters. And they're, like, very passionate, but they're not violent, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. no, unless, they're not, like, Unless you attack them, obviously. Yeah. Because I remember two of our friends were trying to bounce, uh, fight some two, <laughs> to, uh, two bouncers over there at our club. And they're cool <laughs> with it. They're just talking shit to us, but yeah. They, if you're if you do that here, dude, they're gonna they're take your ass fun. down. They're Shout gonna out to Sharpie. <laughs> I have a, a girl who's a who's a friend of mine on Twitter, and and mm -hmm. she's like super Canelo fan. And you know, British people, not all of them like Canelo, but she like defends him like crazy. <laughs> Her name's Laura, and I'm like, girl, she damn, she she's gonna hate you after this. Yeah, right. no, she she <laughs> loves Canelo, and then she goes, she went to see him in New York from london dang, dang. i think she lives in london i might be wrong but she's in she's in the uk and she's seen canelo triple g both times mm -hmm. she's seen the wilder fury she's been to the canelo rocky and i don't know others but she flies from all the way to support canelo <laughs> yeah that's crazy it's good that's crazy. and i think uh what's it called the espn the dollars golpes mm -hmm. yeah. they were saying that shit too i was like okay they were they were mentioning about the british boxers and it looks pretty like, british how it's Canelo. like <laughs> how it's like oh you know this how could this guy have been champion of anything even if it's like interim or if it's like a, a yeah. regular belt how yeah like that's the standards in in the uk that yeah. this guy had a regular even if it's just <laughs> like that's just i'm like give him a commonwealth belt <laughs> <laughs> give him like a city belt he's camping for liverpool ah. boxing gym <laughs> so rude. but yeah um yeah so we're Thinking of planning a trip to yeah to Europe, England, especially for Hopefully Anthony Sims Jr. fights over there. So yeah, he's supposed to fight soon, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we gotta go out there. Um, shout out to all the British fans listening. Yeah, they do listen to this stuff like this. I think they're more passionate about it than they're even more American passionate. people. Yeah, most yeah. definitely, yeah. most definitely, like they that. consume boxing <laughs> in every way. Yeah, I think back to the like Hatton Mayweather when like it was like a British invasion when yeah they came over it was Hatton just, was pretty trash but even then yeah but he was like they, they came here for, <laughs> <laughs> they came here to this party and have a good time you know yeah I like I like Hatton cocaine all-star <laughs> Gio you, you're problematic in boxing <laughs> for real he's the one that came up with the name man right oh, yeah I coined that term <laughs> don't steal it I gotta put that on the t-shirt <laughs> Ricky had his face, Colton Ulster. <laughs> he was here for Fury, right? Yeah. I think yeah, he was in his in his corner. Yeah. And yeah. I think oh, he's yeah, 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 that's true. is he training his like youngest brother? The yeah, youngest yeah. Fury? I just yeah. saw that this morning. I just saw a picture that they posted. Yeah. Because for some reason on my Twitter, I think because I follow like a lot of like British boxing fans. Mm -hmm. In my like explore feed, it's like nothing but like British boxing news. Yeah. I have no idea why, but I just, I saw that shit. He had like yeah. his, in the in the ring like with his little brother, and I'm like, they look identical. Yeah, we thought uh Ben Davison was the trainer of the year. Yeah, Tyson Fury's. Uh, I think he was giving him like really good advice too, mm -hmm. like in the corner. I, you can tell like they're they're <coughs> super connected. Like yeah. I like mm -hmm. I like that. That's team. why when Freddie Roach made those comments, it's kind of like. Well, you've been there for one fight. For exactly. You know, he knows. <laughs> what did he say? You're there for like a month, bro. Like, you didn't. You didn't see it. He said yeah, that he, he should. He was disappointed because he <coughs> thought Tyson Fury should have stepped on the gas pedal. Oh, in other words, could have him out. Go for the knockout instead of you know. Ben Davidson was like, "All right, be careful. Don't get yeah, caught yeah. with the right. Yeah. Well, Two I more rounds, you're winning. You know. Yeah, I think that's the best advice you could tell him. Be yeah. careful because you're with <clears> someone like like Wilder. Yeah. It, we talked you're about not gonna it for go for the knockout against him. No offense, like that's stupid. Yeah. But like, yeah. like you gotta respect Freddie Roach for what he's done and, and the then, boxers he's you know yeah. trained. But at the same time, lately, like he has weird. 
advice. And yeah. when have we seen him train a heavyweight? Yeah, right. You know, That's another thing. Yeah. You're not. It's not a lightweight fight. You're watching where mm-hmm. you can yeah. say go out for a knockout. You know, it's a heavyweight fight. But Ricky Haddon <coughs> also said he was disappointed in, in the, those comments by uh, Freddie Roach. Yeah. Yeah. I think Freddie Roach is just. <laughs> he's at the you know he's still training, but he's mostly like. <coughs> This is my opinion now. Because mm-hmm. who cares? Like, what are you going to tell him? He's a fucking legend. Yeah. Yeah. So who cares if we disagree That's why with I like that interview that we did with him. Because at that point, he wasn't with Pacquiao still. Yeah. So yeah. he's just kind of like, and he was free to I say told you guys. whatever he wanted. <laughs> well, like, yesterday when I was with um with the strength and conditioning coach, there's these other two fighters that were there who are under um, Freddie Roach's training. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jose Cepeda, who is going to go with Jose Ramirez for the title in Fresno. Yeah. I think February 10th. Hmm. So he's with Manny, um, with uh, Freddie Roach, and so is um, El Centenario <coughs> Cedavaca. Oh, okay. He just got signed to top rank in, in August, mm-hmm. and him too. He, and he, he was telling me, he's like, yo, he's like, they're so strict at Freddie's gym. Yeah, he's like, it's are. such a strict environment. He's like, we're, we're having fun and shit. He's like, but at the same time, it's like so strict. And you it's just know, like, right? it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. I'm te like, te <laughs> No, I mean, <laughs> come on. No, I'm asking. No, you, you. Oh, oh, no, 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 I'm no. like, oh, I'm like, like, tell me the not story. This time, <laughs> not this time, yeah, but, but, yeah, but they, you know, though. they're they're getting really good training from from Freddie Roach, and how could you not? Hmm. He's a trainer. At the end of the day, people are gonna judge him for his opinions, but at the end yeah. of the day, the <clears> job that he gets done to train, he does it pretty fucking well, yeah. and they, that's why he is who he is. That's what um one of the things I think I sent you guys the video of Roy Jones Jr. on that interview. Yeah. Um, because they uh, they were talking about the Tyson Fury against Wilder. They're like, so do you think Wilder, like, if he can get better? And he's just like, I don't know. But, look, I've seen it before with Freddie Roach, like, when he trains Cotto. And he trains these older fighters. It's not like it's not that he's making them better, but it's just kind of like uncovering a skill that you yeah. already had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I was going to say that. So yeah, I thought that Cotto was very after interesting. He went with Freddie Roach. Was <laughs> he was like, more aggressive. Out. He was more yeah. aggressive. He was, most yeah. definitely more Kind of like confident. he brings it out of you. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, his previous coach yeah. was more defensive. Mm-hmm. Minded, and I'm like. Cotto's never been like really known for his defensive skills. He's more for his yeah, pressure and his know. footwork. Fuck you know, like fuck that cotton. left hook. That yep. left fuck hook. Cotton. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he's not a fan of Cotto. I, Why? Uh, I just feel like he's oh, okay. he's taking advantages of certain situations who like, hasn't though don't no you but he acts like such a don't diva you? like he was a diva when he be like, martinez like, like canelo, oh yeah bro. <laughs> i'm the middleweight <laughs> champion canelo i'd be martinez advantage of of that opportunity to take the the third division yeah championship but, but he's not gonna go out and be like yeah i'm the middleweight champion now yeah i'm the shit but he's like, a diva i feel like he's canelo's a diva. a diva too yeah he is but <laughs> i'm t- talking about even Cotto and uh the margarito the second fight I'm I like, love, dude. I love Cotto you know, all fight. you needed to do was hit that eye. You know, you should have not even been but he fighting was this the guy. Body too. But he looked but, uh, much but, better. But and after I think the that fight, was such like a, a rite of passage, <laughs> even for Cotto, because he's like, look, he not fuck only that. did he don't even ch- say he cheated. No. Don't even. Yes, he did, <gasps> bitch. Did they? Did they <laughs> prove <laughs> it? <laughs> did they prove no, it? I don't give a fuck. But, exactly. But no. Talk about the facts. Look that. Talk about the facts. He he said that to this day he had no idea if somebody like did like his trainer or not. How the fuck you're not gonna feel different? How do you not know? As a boxer, you get wrapped every single There's fucking no day evidence every that single time you that you spar that and all of a sudden you're not gonna feel fight. that it's hard okay maybe there's no evidence there's but no even evidence. Mosley like I told this guy like cause, cause he Mosley. has Mosley I know no but we're what talking about with Mosley we're just talking about this trainer. fight though. there's no, evidence no, 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 right there no, no, on those no. that's yeah. evidence on those too I know and that's why that I took it to the lawyer <laughs> so, fight, right? oh, so it's not like I'm not defending him it's like a repeated offense I'm not defending him but you know in this country is innocent to proving guilty right but a lot of people just hop on that shit like fuck that no, no, but no offense, but serious shit. But look, I think that was a fucking beautiful fight for Cotto because he trash talked and he proved what he was meaning to prove. Look, he but, said, but "Look, the first time you beat me because of this, and like you said, these are see, that's facts. Why, why these are you are giving facts. excuses? Because these are facts. Like you said, talk that's about what I'm the saying, facts. Like this is facts. He said, I'm gonna beat you, and I'm gonna <laughs> prove it. Hey, in cut the her ring. mic up. <laughs> and did he not? He did. He made it seem... And you're right. He already had that eye fucked up. No, but look. Even with Pacquiao, the first that fight, fucking eye was gone. Because in the first fight, he thought the same thing. I'm like, in the first fight, those hand wraps are not going to fucking take those punches for you. He punched Margarito so many times. Margarito just stood there. And it was all heart. A, it was all chin. Exactly. Right? He has a great chin. But he, he didn't win the fight because of the fucking hand wraps. First of all, they didn't prove that he had them. Second of all, yeah. don't make that face because is there evidence? Show <laughs> no, me. No, no, no. Show right. me the evidence. There is but, no evidence. 
He won that yeah. fight There's with pure heart. against Mosley. Yeah. Yeah. So how could you just it. be you like, def- oh, no, you, you so can't just only, only for fight. this one. I'm just speaking about the facts. I don't and care about these guys. And then he's like, so. oh, I think what gives it away even more is that he's like, oh, maybe it was my trainer and I never knew. Yeah. How are you not going to know? I don't know. Well, he didn't get caught in that fight for some reason. Somebody did, did, didn't do their job. To me, like, that's cheated. what happened. Somebody didn't do their rap. Like, yeah, some, if he cheated happened. in that fight, somebody was. How do you not know? Like, it's just. Yeah. And then Obviously, in the he's second never going to admit it. He's never going to admit it. Yeah, we're not, it's going to be a debate. To me, that was a, no one's gonna to me uh, that was an excuse by Koto the first fight. And then the second fight, all you had to do is punch the eye. And even after that, he's still, like, looking at him, talking shit. I'm just like. I would, too. Like, I diva, would, too, dude. bitch. Especially if. If it's something like I, you cheated, I'd yeah. be like, Look. I need, I need evidence. I don't know. To me, it's like mostly. Yeah, you'll never get like <laughs> for that fight. Yes. You'll never get evidence because Marieta's never gonna admit it. But mm-hmm. like the eye test, that's what I'm saying. Tells like, you, the eye test tells that's you. That's like, another reason. You like, ever seen Goto that messed up after <laughs> that or before that? Like that's that bad, not even true. that. You never really see boxers that messed up. And that's the thing too. Okay, you know, we saw um, Koto obviously bleeding and shit <laughs> against Pacquiao and my um, Mayweather. <laughs> They fucked them up in the first pretty well, but none to the extent of Margarito. Yeah. None. No one. Pacquiao fucked them up pretty That's good. That's what I said. Pacquiao and Mayweather, and he had, like, blood. He, he was cut, mm-hmm. but he wasn't, like, a fucking Swelled swollen. Up. Like, he just stuck his head in a beehive. Yeah. Like, he, that shit was, especially right here in the pummels of, his, yeah. of your I face. Would've... You could tell he was, yeah. like, that was, doesn't. You can speculate all you want, but I go off evidence. I don't You're know. speculating. <laughs> You're speculating. For what? Did they catch him in that fight? They ca- yes or they no? Caught they caught him, him in another him. one. Did they catch him in the first Koto Margarito fight? Doesn't matter. Yes or no? Yes or no? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm not gonna if somebody talk about, does it again. I'm not saying. It, I'm not, I can't accuse somebody. Just because yeah. they did it. It's that, like nowadays. Just because somebody gets away with it once and then they get caught later on, it's like, oh, well, maybe for that fight it wasn't. I don't know. I, I, that's why I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm not defending him, but I'm not going to accuse him either. <laughs> you are. <laughs> How am I defending him? I'm saying he didn't get caught. He did okay, okay. get caught. So you're in saying, that fight, he didn't so get caught. So there's, there's, so there's, okay, so there's no It's evidence. like the rape allegations now. People could say, I raped somebody, and, and I'm fucked. Because people like this are going to be like, oh, you did it. No, don't, fuck that. You did it. Don't <laughs> even bring up rape. That's like Can't totally like. But it's the okay. same thing. Where no, it's, it's not. It's all How allegations. It's the same thing. So, you're, That's not the so same you're thinking thing. that he didn't have loaded raps. I don't know. For, That's why I'm not going to say yes or no. No, but like. All I know but is I he didn't know. get I know there's no evidence. The but thing. I know there's no evidence. But you really think that he fought clean? I don't know. You don't know. I never thought about it. To me, just I don't care that much about it. I just know he got caught against mostly. And he got punished for it. That's yeah. all I know. I can't talk about something I don't know, yeah. right? No, I, I get you. I get where you're coming from. For me, like, I just remember. So I, I, t- I talk about this with the, the guys a lot, Lily. I'm like, I remember hearing about this Margarito guy with this massive punch <clears throat> before, like, I really even, like, mm-hmm. went into him. Well, and he then, was super popular in TJ. Yeah. Like, even before, he would lose. And even if he would lose, he would come back and people would play see him again because mm-hmm. he was a typical Mexican fighter and yeah. he had power and he was explosive. Mm-hmm. So that I, I the reason I like Margarito is because he was teaching people that you can lose and you're still going to yeah, kick ass things, yeah. on the next fight. Like, even if you lose yeah. against somebody, it doesn't determine your worth as a boxer. You ever see his fight boxer. against uh, Sergio Martinez? When Martinez was like 20. It was, I think it was at the Stuff Hub Center. At the Stuff Hub? Yeah, I yeah, think it was Mar- Martinez's first back fight when here. Back when it was the Home Depot Center? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, back Good then, old yeah. days, huh? Damn. This is well, Martinez is like, I think his I first think his fight. First yeah, fight yeah. We, we've been here when it's like the Home Depot Center. It was a Stuff Hub, and now it's yeah. with Dignity Health Park yeah. or oh, some shit nah. like that. What's I'm next? He's going to come back to the Stuff Hub watch. Like, they're going to lose that those name <laughs> rights or something. I don't like that shit. Yeah, but Martinez got rocked in that fight. Yeah. I don't. I I think that my least favorite Martinez fight is against Cotto, and that's yeah, and that's oh, yeah. one that I agree with you. Where I'm like, bro, you shouldn't have fought this yeah. guy's like cr- fucking crippled already. Basically, yeah. any little punch, he had no knees. That shit. Did you know? I don't even want to talk about that. Painful to watch. Painful. Did you know before fight. the fight that he had like like knee surgeries and shit? Like that it was that bad. No, it, I didn't know it was, didn't that, know it was bad. that bad. I don't think he ever mm. talked about. We knew that he had gone like knee surgeries and shit, yeah. which is always. I think for concern, mm-hmm. you know, like it's like, okay, well, how is that going to affect you? Yeah. But fuck, but that's, every little thing that Koto that's, did that's to one him, of the things like, like, and yeah. that shit, honestly, I couldn't finish that fight. Yeah. I the, couldn't because that To me, that when I saw the long shorts and I told I told Yeah, him the knee braces. The long shorts covered the knee braces. I was like, something's up. You know, man. but that's one of the things uh, when we talked about Mayweather, yeah. like he ne- Mayweather was never really in a war. 
So he can fight until he's fucking 45 if he wants to, I think. Yeah. With some guys like today, like even Canelo, last I fight, think early we in talked his career, about uh, he was in yeah, some wars. Yeah, one time ago. But against Castillo, he lost he that fight. Pretty, yes, he but, lost um, that fight. Yeah. We're talking about uh, Canelo. Like, he still had the, the scars on the Triple G fight. Mm-hmm. He had a knee brace, actually, in his last fight. But those wars, like, slowly, like, kind of deteriorate you. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, that's I feel like Mayweather yeah. never really had one like that. Mm-hmm. No. Because he never took punishment. Yeah. Even guys like it's De La Hoya, like, they never took punishment. No, no, and then, like, even now, Lomachenko. I think that's why they take pride in that shit, because they yeah. want to look cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. They want to look cute. So they're like, nah, I better learn some fucking defense, because I want to save my face. Because even with Leo, I was watching him yesterday, and he had, like, his nose. Ya estaba toda, like, apachurrada. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I didn't think, I don't I had, I had a notice that it, his nose was getting like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's been into some tough fights against Carl Frampton. Yeah. The fights against Modest. Modest Pretty tough fights. Yeah. But yeah, anything before we sign out? Anything is it you guys want to talk about? Anything else? I'm uh, just excited for these fights this Saturday. It's going to be the first time we're going to watch some fights with... Uh, As fans. Sunday, dude. As fans. Saturday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday? It's Saturday. It's the 13th. Is that Sunday? I'm free both days. <laughs> I'm free both days. Sunday <laughs> because it's interesting because there's fights on Friday, the 11th. Yeah, there okay. is fights on Friday. And Haney's fighting yeah. on... Uh, yeah. You're going to say the name? Or you say it? On Showtime, right? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to say the other person's name. Oh, no. I don't know how to say it. So <laughs> I didn't even know how to say the Ustazegi guy. Yeah, but that's that on one. Showtime. Okay. Friday night. Yeah, this one's on Showtime, yeah. Sunday is at the Microsoft Theater. Okay, well, tickets yeah. are paid for. So. We'll double check. <laughs> we'll be there. We're going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Monday, Sunday, Tuesday. Yeah, so we're going to have Jose Oscate against Caleb Plant. Have you have super middleweight champion. Reagan Dow's going to fight. Nice. Ten rounder against Giovanni Delgado. I'm and, so uh, excited for that. That's yeah. all I want to say before we sign out. I can't wait fun. to see Rigo. I'm God and then. I'm God and I want to see Rigo <laughs> so bad. Well, any any last words? Uh, any any last words on the Adrian Broner Pacquiao? I got Pacquiao yeah, decision. Got, UD. Okay, I was gonna say that I too. I think so. I think so too. But it's so gonna be bad. fun, however long. Like I'm looking forward to the second I'm episode. Like, of I'm the, looking forward to Alexis. the schooling. Not <laughs> any uh big undercard? That? No, huh? Not really. I didn't know. really not not one really caught my yeah. attention. So Showtime pay per view seventy four ninety nine. Shit. All right. Well, to close out, I'll watch it the next day on YouTube. The lawyer <laughs> does the, the lawyer does have Broner winning. Oh yeah, I, so I, I heard. was like, did you see that interview by Broner? With he was when he was talking about it, they asked him about it. What did he say? He's like, yeah, I knew Oscar wasn't that doped up. Like, <laughs> no, I'm oh cool. my god. He's like, yeah, I like Oscar. Like, I hung out oh with him gosh. one time, like for a week. He's a cool guy, you know. And he's like, I made a lot of money with him. I guess from previous promotions, but yeah. Jesus, I don't know. We still have Pacquiao. Bro, we still got Pacquiao for a couple bro. more. Do you agree with Freddie Roach? He should beat him pretty easily. I think so. I love seeing them. Boxing two wise, yeah. I don't know about stopping him. Yeah, I don't, know I don't think he'll, I would fucking jizz myself in the movie theater but <laughs> <laughs> if he did, but I don't think so. Yeah. But then again, who knows? But I would love to see that. I don't think yeah. he has a reach. To yeah, like, it's going to be interesting. interesting. And like we said, he's tough. He's a tough guy. And we'll let you know oh. if we go to the theater with you. We're still deciding. Where. Yeah, I'll probably watch the next day. We'll see. You guys are going to order it? Not, you know, I don't, I don't think we're gonna order it. Uh, no. Probably hey. movie theater. I was. Yeah, yeah. She's I'm like, doing. you're retarded. Or a bar. Help me <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah. I don't, I don't like going to bars because I feel like too many casuals. No offense. I never been. Like I, I just don't. Somebody. I like hearing the commentary. So it's like you yeah. can't hear at the bar. Oh, I've never yeah, been for true. that yeah. reason too. I remember Chris would always tell us like, let's go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm like, I'm not. No, especially not Buffalo Wild Wings. Fuck that. No, there's this really. I didn't even want to go to a theater, honestly. In Ontario, I think there's a really cool bar that's called Round something fuck i'll look it up Mm -hmm. but it's so cool like the whole walls are just um boxing like Mm -hmm. shit yeah it's paintings and i think leo owns it if i'm not mistaken or has some ties with it okay i forgot what it's called but so they have like a bunch of tvs right and they have bomb ass drinks and food like fucking huge fucking drinks anyway they have like TVs everywhere, and then right before the fight's gonna start, they do the, like the they have a little bell. Bell, bing bing. So That's ding cool. ding, and it's awesome. But there's a lot of fucking dumbass people, and they like <laughs> turn around. I want to like fight somebody, so yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm not funny. doing this anymore. And it's far, so I'm like, nah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What city is it at? It's either Chino or Ontario. I'm not sure. Okay. I used to follow it, but Mommy. I forgot what happened. Okay. Mommy, do a little trip maybe. We'll yeah, see. but we gotta sign off pretty soon, right? Yeah. Before we get out. I want to say some shout outs. Uh, we are we are going to talk about the All-Star Boxing Show pretty soon. We've been, it's been almost a month and we haven't talked about it, but we'll be doing that. Shout out to JT Media. Shout out to All-Star Boxing. Eddie Matchmaker. Um, shout out to Beat the Count. He joined us too. Check out his podcast. 
thing he drops every Sunday. Shout out to the Wolfpack Roundtable. It's not safe for work, so it's not safe for work. Listen to it. Make sure you have some headphones or you listen at home <laughs> or in your car. No kids. No kids. <laughs> um, anything else you want to talk about? No, I think. Oh, shout out to Chris. He's not here. Oh, yeah, shout out to Chris. Damn, we didn't even, we didn't even acknowledge to our board, Chris. that at the beginning of the fucking episode that he wasn't going to be here. That's Gio's job. I know, Gio. You didn't even. Now, after we introduced you, I don't know. Yeah. You got into yeah, it. I mentioned it. that. Talking about Koto and stuff. Yeah, you know? Know. Shout out to Chris. He's on a much needed vacation time. He's on a leave. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we'll catch you guys soon, man. Stay really? tuned. Any shout outs? Chicanaboxing.com. Yeah, Chicanaboxing.com. Go read my shit because it's pretty good. Chicanaboxing cool. on Instagram. You know, you do have one of the funnier, funnier uh, Account Instagram it. accounts. Yeah. yeah. See, I don't really like stuff, but that doesn't mean that I, I don't actually like it. Yeah. But I do, uh, like, through, when I go through my thing, I, I just scroll. I don't really check stuff out, yeah. but I do stop on yours because you have some funny stuff. You have some yeah. stuff about Chino Maidana recently. <laughs> um, oh, we forgot Chino. I know. Yeah, Chino's <laughs> come back. We'll talk Chino later. We'll talk Chino <laughs> if he comes back. I'm pretty sure he'll be, he'll be, he'll be in the news. Yeah. yeah, but follow ChicanoBoxing.com. Yes. Follow Against the Ropes, Against DA Ropes. Any shout-outs? Shout-out to my buddy, France. It is his birthday, so happy birthday, buddy. Mm, happy birthday, <laughs> too. <laughs> Shout out to all the British fans. You yep. never walk alone. Yep. Yep. Liverpool for first place. Yay, yay. Shout out to Sims Jr. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Anthony Sims Jr. Hopefully he gets a fight soon. Yeah. All right. We out. We out. Bye. Against the ropes. Yeah, we forgot about my Donna. <laughs> 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 I think it's just a publicity stunt, yeah. especially because he's doing his little promotional shit. Shout out to Against the Ropes, thank you for the support. Keep doing your thing, you're doing, you're doing a great job, so thank you and best wishes. Against the Ropes, number one. Freddie Roach. Thank you very much.